Today, we are going to be working in video. My goal here is I want to be able to take my longer form landscape style content. I want to turn it into a reel or a YouTube short, something quick to then push someone to the overall uh, channel where they want to watch the longer videos. What are some things that social media posts need? They need to be engaging. They need to be quick and short and they need captions. I find those dynamic Perfect. captions are a must these days. My favorite thing to look at first for a starting point are these quick actions. For sure. So I'm gonna go to caption video right here. I downloaded the video, so I'm gonna put it in. You can switch through and try. You can do slanted in the corner. You can do basic across the bottom. You can just do plain text. Um, I love how I can change it. I've already switched it to green because I like it to be on brand for geography. It, it gets the punctuation. It gets it gets really what you need it to be, which is awesome. Something I'm gonna also show though is animate from audio. I don't know if many people know this is an express. So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this little guy. I'm going to actually just upload my same video. From the early days of civilization to the modern era has dramatically affected the environment. I love being a, a little cartoon chalkboard. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna open it in the editor and it's gonna bring it into Adobe Express and maintain the transparency. So again, I downloaded the video with the captions and I'm gonna pop it in. So I'm gonna fit it to the background um, because I want my little character behind it. Right. And I'm gonna, I think I wanna layer him behind. There he is. Let's meet the character. There we go. <laughs> Just so it's not too playing. And let's see our, let's see our reel. Human settlement from the early days of civilization to the modern era has dramatically affected the environment. <laughs> The idea of what would catch your eye, I think you've nailed it, honestly, already. This little chalkboard, would, I would just be like, okay, what do you have to tell me? Because I love it. There's still there's still something I want to add. I want to make this a little bit more recognizable as being from that channel. I'm going to go ahead and add a quick scene. I could do it at the, at the end. Drag and drop. I want it at the beginning. I love how easy and seamless this is for the drag and drop editor. So I added that scene. I want the background to match what's going on. I want it to match the same green I use for the captions. Again, I want that brand recognition to really just pop. I have my geography color here, my green. Nice. So I'm gonna put that in there as a background. I wanna go to my brands and I can pop in my logo. So I'm gonna just apply a shape and I wanna just make it a nice YouTube red. I'm putting in my text box there. I'm gonna go ahead and group it. I'm clicking on the, on the element and right at the bottom, got tons and tons of animations. Well, I have a circle logo if you're not gonna have it spin right in there, right on screen. <laughs> I might add in some music. Dramatic, we're talking about the earth here. Dramatic. Let's see. So I clicked on it and it automatically applied. Nice. Human settlement. From the early days of civilization, the modern era has dramatically affected the environment. Um, let's go ahead and let's create some promotional material. So let's create some thumbnails. I like to start bigger with the biggest project mm -hmm. and then resize down to smaller. So I'm going to start with, with a bigger YouTube thumbnail. So I got my brand palettes here. Again, there's that green I like to use. So I'm going to add in my text. In my Digital Classroom Experience brand, I do have my main font. And again, this is about growing your YouTube channel. I find having standout thumbnails is a must. I select my text and down here I'm going to shape and it gives me so many options. I'm gonna make it have a little bit of a border there. Mm -hmm. So I just copied and pasted my pre-existing text box I just made. We're gonna make it a lot bigger, right? Human, settlement, and the environment. So I love the dynamic shape here, the text layout. Let's make it, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just place in some circle shapes and we want to add some images. Deforestation, I'm gonna crop it. Um, to my circle here. Now I can copy and paste it, add in a few different sizes, different visuals to go with it. Um, let's just make it a little bit more nice with some design assets. I love these duotone effects. What I'm doing is just changing the shadows and the highlights to match the color I want. There's my thumbnail. So I went to resize, duplicate and resize. Um, this is why I like to start with bigger because now I can really play around with it. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put this here. And there we go. There's so many fun things you can do. Getting on as many channels, repurposing the content from long form to short form and back again with all those different elements. And it's very easy and quick to use it. When you do it, you're amazing <laughs> at this, Lucas. Thank you so much for showing us all the tips and tricks. It was lovely to have you here. Bye. Thank you.